Hello everyone and welcome to the Hot Zone Report where we recap the hottest stories of the past week. We are right here at our studios at Ramey Restaurant in New York City. I am your host Jason Robinson and I'm sitting alongside TV personality and TV host, Christina Vish. How you doing? Great, so happy to be here with you. What an honor. Good, thanks for joining us today. We had another school shooting that happened on Thursday. 26 year old Chris Harper Mercer killed 10 people and injured more. Another senseless shooting that happened in Oregon. It's really sad. I think he was asking them, uh, are you Christians? And then he just ended up shooting and, uh, and killing them. So when will this Stop. It is sad because I almost think, you know, when when I when I see that, you know, the, the ticker pop up on my phone that, that another one of these incidents has happened, you almost become desensitized because you see it so often. Right. So instead of gasping in horror, it's like, okay, here we go again, yeah. which is which is, is scary. Even yeah. even when I know that I'm a little desensitized to the headlines, instead it's kind of like, well, it keeps happening and you almost expect it to continue to keep happening and obviously it's gotta stop. It just it's just never gonna stop. Yeah, I mean, I, I know Obama spoke last night, and of course he was saying, you know, listen, Americans, you have to wake up and no. really make sure your elected officials take action. And this is, again, another example. And he's, he, I think he also inferenced that, you know, there is a desensitization, a desensitization going on and um, that we're almost numb to it. And, you know, whether you're, no matter what, you know, side of the aisle you're, yeah. you're, you're on, I mean, I think we can all agree this is a tragedy and, and something needs to happen. What's going on now? Actress Jennifer Lawrence doesn't like a certain yeah, right. presidential <laughs> candidate. I mean, I think it's no surprise that Hollywood pretty much roasts Donald Trump any chance they get. They mm -hmm. did it at the Emmys and now Jennifer Lawrence, of course, Oscar winner is coming out saying yeah. the if Donald Trump becomes president, the world will officially be over. And of course, <laughs> Liam, Liam Hemsworth, her co-star is like, yeah, right. I'm right there. I'm right there with you. Uh -huh. I mean, you know, again, Jennifer Lawrence has, has sort of become a, a very outspoken voice of the younger generation. Mm, right. And, uh, you know, she she tells it exactly like she feels it. And I know yeah. she, she also said that she was watching the campaign trail and someone was saying oh, I love Trump so much because he says everything that I'm too scared to say uh, because of political correctness and of course Jennifer says well great that's just what we need a uh, president who's out there not even remotely politically correct mm -hmm. speaking with other countries and so again you know the dialogue continues but again I think what we're seeing is Hollywood specifically young Hollywood that very important demographic is not on the Trump bandwagon I think Trump is great for politics people are talking they're talking and he's leading, you know, leading yes. the, the candidates right now. And I think what's even interesting is you've got, you know, some of Hollywood's older guard, you've got Robert Redford yeah. out there actually saying, mm -hmm. this is great for politics. This is what American politics needs. We need a shakeup. We need something different. And I completely agree. Guess what we going on with uh, Bill Cosby? Three more women have come out against Bill Cosby, and it's really, really sad. And I mean, when will it stop? I think there's been three university that has taken away his honorary degrees. Yeah. They've come out again. It's like, what are they doing this for? It's like, is he gonna face any legal like uh, ramifications with going on with this? It's just really sad. He's really, we don't know if it's true, but I mean, there's so many women coming yeah, out. Yeah, I mean, gotta you be. think what I think it's it's 40 women now who have come out with these allegations uh, that that he, he you know he has he has taken advantage of them over 40 years, yeah. and and. You know, again, we're saying allegations here. He has, of course, said he's committed no wrongdoings whatsoever, but you've got to expect 40 women who really have nothing to gain because the statute of limitations has, of course, expired on these. They're, I think, really showing some sort of solidarity, and it does seem like it's hard to imagine that something didn't happen. Right. He's still saying, I, I'm denying any wrongdoing. I did absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. Is it now, is he now just almost becoming a, kind of a, almost a laughing stock because he is he is ignoring this this overwhelming evidence? I mean, if you if you really didn't do something, of course you're gonna say I didn't right. do it, but it seems impossible to believe that he didn't do something. Right, and he just doesn't really want to come out and speak. Right. You know, the media tries to speak to him all the time. He's not coming out. He's just keeping very low key, and that's the problem problem if he would be open if he would speak about it but I don't really think there's anything he can say Katrina that's really gonna make people believe that he's right. not guilty at this point it's just too late just too many if it was one or two maybe right 40 plus or if one. you know or if there was money to gain and it's yeah. like okay these people are just after they, they want a lawsuit they want <laughs> right. millions of dollars and that's not the case right this is really women standing together in solidarity just saying this happened and it's not okay well let justice be served
season six premiere of The Walking Dead happens on October 11th. Mm -hmm. And I think what's interesting about this is not just, you know, the, it's, yes, it's a very popular show, but the fact that it is the most successful cable series in history, mm. not just on AMC, but in history, which is shocking to me. And also, of course, they launched a prequel this summer, Fear the Walking Dead, okay. that was the highest, the, the most successful premiere in cable history okay. again so there, there are all these benchmarks so even if you haven't watched the walking dead if you're not into zombies it's very interesting to note that amc really now has a cash cow on their hands okay. they've actually since the walking dead has become so popular they've increased their revenue their advertising revenue by 25 wow. percent surpassing <laughs> wall street expectations okay. so they're obviously doing something right and again just capitalizing on this franchise they're now launching a web only series really that is wow. going to be 16 episodes each less than a minute each on amc.com exclusively. And less than a minute each? Yes. Are people, they're gonna tune in that? Snippets. A minute snippet? It's, like it's a teaser? It was literally a mini series. Oh, okay. I think each is a standalone episode. Wow. So again, I think you know they're they're reaching broader audiences. Uh, the prequel launched internationally, so they're really hoping to expand. Mm -hmm. And I think by by going online and even just appealing to people's diminishing attention spans with these little snippets, right. um, I, I really just think they're they're gonna do gonna do really great things. Mm. John Legend's wife is really pissed off now because there's this new app called People. Uh, and it's, I guess, they're rating people. You can rate people. It's like called the Yelp for humans. Right. You can rate people out of five stars. And she's pissed off. A lot of people online are pissed off because, you know, a lot of people, um, you know, especially the young people, it's not really good for them. You know, you think finally, you know, you grow up, you're an adult. Do you really need to be subjected to the bully culture that we hear so much about that has really also become, you know, really an epidemic? Right. And I think this just fuels that fire. Mm -hmm. And sure, if you're a celebrity, you can say, okay, you signed up for public scrutiny, fine, you can take it. But Chrissy even said, you know, sure, I can take it, I get it, I think it's ridiculous. Right. But when, you know, there are parents and kids and students and, and you know, regular people out there who didn't sign up to be rated mm -hmm. it just becomes it, it's too much you're getting mad at technology this is technology it's not gonna stop there's so many things but How people there are people behind the technology it, that, that's that. true that's true and so Chrissy said I'm not just I think the app I hate the app and I hate the people who behind sat around it. in the boardroom and created that app and it's a money-making thing though money talks of course it is yeah, yeah. which is horrible Ralph Lauren I'm sure a few of you have heard from him mm -hmm. and, or heard of him and probably have maybe a polo shirt or two <laughs> uh, but again after 48 years helming uh, his his this name namesake company Ralph Lauren he stepped down as CEO he was very quickly to say well I'm not stepping down I'm actually stepping up because right. I will still be overseeing everything mm -hmm. but he did hire a CEO in his place Stephen Larson who was currently president of Old Navy which Old is Navy, interesting right, and had yeah. been at H&M before mm -hmm. a lot of people are saying would someone really from these kind of mass inexpensive brands really be the pr proper person to helm sort of the ultimate in luxury uh, label Ralph Lauren his son did David Lauren, who's a vice president at the company, actually said, you know, this this company is not about fabric. This mm -hmm. company is about dreams. About dreams. And I just right. think that's such a great way to say it. And I'm, yeah. I'm personally happy to hear that Ralph will still be involved because he has that like special sauce, that magic <laughs> that touch makes it work. that makes Ralph Lauren, of course, Ralph Lauren. Well, he was quick to step in, like you said, and he said, listen, I am still creative, uh, chief creative officer. Exactly. Okay, an executive yeah. chairman. So yeah. listen, I'm not stepping down. I'm still in charge. Don't forget that, exactly. everybody. Exactly. <laughs> Mr. Larson reports yeah. me. Exactly. So. <laughs> well, thank you so much much for joining me this Absolutely. week. Katrina, it, it was great. All these stories you have to check out on thehotzoneusa.com. I'm your host, Jason Robinson, and I'm joined alongside with Katrina Zish. Right, there you go. We're getting it. He's quick. <laughs> He's quick. Stay tuned for next uh, stories uh, next week on thehotzoneusa.com. I'm Jason Robinson. See you guys.